Oh man, I hate Mondays. No, nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 wait. What day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday. Oh, fuck yeah. It's time for Brews Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar and Six Pack Store. Here's Drez and Big Nate. Boom, boom, boom. It is Brews Day Tuesday. Brought to you by the Cellar Restaurant and Six Pack Store in downtown Blacksburg. Get on down there. Say what's up to Mikey. Grab some beers. I actually was just there over the weekend. I saw that they have these, like, you know, beer gift sets like boxes a nice christmasy box yeah. and you can get like a a sour collection an ipa collection a, a christmas holiday collection like pretty uh you you can never go wrong giving someone beer i i think i'm going to be gifting a lot of beer yeah, this year now that i'm just, thinking about it i mean I, the gift that keeps on giving yeah, until at the end you, of that you six or 12 or 24 pack you can't go wrong um yeah i think i might actually well, I guess I shouldn't. I shouldn't reveal my secrets till it's done. So I, I can't. I can't say. Maybe. Maybe on the next episode, I'll. I'll talk a little bit about what I am thinking about. For I digress. We're drinking beer, like always. We're way ahead of ourselves. I think this is going to be a. Yeah, it's. This is going to be an interesting show, no doubt about it. But uh, uh, first things first. Shout out to Rawls. He's the guy down in Nashville that loves beer and uh, and listens to the show and knows that we like beer. And he was coming up this way and. Dropped off uh, a nice little variety, I would say, from some Nashville breweries. I popped East Nashville Beer Works. Um, they're Myro, and I just looked at it now. I'm like, I'm, am I going to be able to pronounce this? Is that Myro Miel? M-I-E-L? That would be my best I, guess. I'm not good at reading Myro words. Uh, this is a honey blonde ale. I do know that, and one of the things that sounds pretty cool is it's an American-style blonde. Ale brewed with real Tennessee honey. You can see the honeycomb style and the, the little bee right there on the can. Coming in at 5.2%. This is probably going to be a good uh, a good one to start the show with. I think we're going to go a little bigger and crazier I, later, but right I, now, I never, this, is, this will taste good. I never really thought about the fact that there was like an actual Tennessee honey in my brain. It was always associated with whiskey. There's actually... I mean, it makes sense, but... Oh. Yeah, I mean, I think of... The, yeah, I Jack the Daniels liquor. or whatever. But. Oh, yeah, I guess that would be a thing that exists. Uh, I've got the uh, Barrique Brewing and Blending Barrel Aged Lager Beer Emerald Cut. And this one's incredibly intriguing. A uh, little description here on the side. All of our beers are brewed, fermented, or conditioned in oak barrels, which is interesting because you don't see that a lot with, uh, with the lagers. We use traditional techniques and authentic ingredients when crafting all our beer. All right, I'm really jazzed. I'm, I'm all about this barrels. The lager was fermented in stainless steel, then lagered in wine barrels. I'm assuming probably white wine, but it, it, it at the very least it's gonna be wow. interesting. Look at the color. I mean, what is it? It's it. I mean, yeah. There's there's no darkness to it. Okay. It's, it's yeah. gonna be white wine for sure. Um, German style Pilsner, five point two percent ABV. Well, we'll see. I'm 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 definitely intrigued. I think this so, is gonna be a fun ride. So uh, it's it's a Pilsner. But what was it? It was a. But they're calling it the log... uh, barrel aged lager beer. So I guess that's. I mean, that definitely sounds German. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, as long as it tastes good, uh, that's what matters. So interesting fact about that brewery. Uh, I was texting with Rawls, and he says that the owner head brewer made his name was Sours. So uh, maybe that's. Oh, oh, but then it says and then hired another brewer to do his clean beers. So. I guess maybe there's a lot of sours down there if you make your way. Uh, another fun fact, apparently, uh, the owner head brewer is Darius Rucker's sound engineer. So, you know, I guess when he's not on tour, so, <laughs> he's he's making beer. So or was Hootie wasn't paying him enough, so he had to go get another gig. I guess maybe. I, I don't know. You would think that that would pay the bills, being the oh, sound engineer for so. a... Because he... That's funny. I mean, you say you say Hootie, but I think at this point, I mean, I don't know. I, I I'm not a country guy, but I did. Uh, uh, once I saw this, I brought it up with Curtis, who's who does the country station um, that we're affiliated with here down down here at New River Radio. And man, like, I didn't realize how many hits Darius Rucker has. Like, I'd say it's it might ha it probably has superseded. I would Hootie say it, it definitely overshadows Hootie, but 
I saw him on like that first tour as a solo artist and of course he didn't have the repertoire he has now nah, yeah so it was basically hootie covers the whole set which was perfect because oh, yeah. that's what that's, I'd, what, you that's know. what i'd rather see but yeah yeah i mean i i mean i know he did that wagon wheel song but i don't know what else hits darius rucker said it sounds like a, a ton but i just no, that's not my wheelhouse definitely, definitely carved a niche out for himself mm, i'm right. told well, either way, he's got a, a sound guy that apparently makes beer. I don't know if it's good beer. That's obviously for you to decide over there, Nate. But uh, Nashville, man, Music City. Speaking of music, I guess it makes sense why that dude's in Nashville. That's uh, Darius' sound sound engineer because there's a lot of music down there, man. A lot of live music. I'm sure he could probably uh, both do both of those, brew beer and uh, work on some sound stuff all throughout the city because, well, a lot of good venues and a lot of good live music. You've been to Nashville, right? Uh, yes, but not when it would have been fun for me. You were like was, a child. I was young, yeah. So, I mean, this is interesting. Another thing, like speaking on time, this was from start to finish eight weeks of production. Some of that's aging, so you got some time to sit and wait. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, how he's managing it. Part of the process. Yeah, All right. you got time to kill. Um, so I was in Nashville. I guess most recently it was we made a pit stop there as part of the RV trip. And luckily, I was staying with my cousin, who also is a pretty big beer guy. So I do remember going to a few breweries with him. One of which, the one that I remember, I mean, I'm the one that stands out was uh, it's Yazoo, right? Um, they had I've had some of their beers before. I know that they're one of the bigger guys out there in Nashville. Um, had a bigger operation, so the big big brewery. Uh, we got to get out there at a fire pit. Nice, nice. Um, solid selection of beers to try that you know i they're pretty well distributed you know you can get that stuff up here but when you go there obviously there's a lot of stuff you're not going to be able to get so um that one was a standout and i texted him because i couldn't remember where all we went he hadn't texted me back yet but there's a couple other smaller breweries but definitely a decent beer scene down there in nashville i i've heard that they have a pretty good food scene as well and and Mm -hmm. like i'm trying to think on it is i don't know that i've had like we used to go down there in the summers when my my uncle lived in Tennessee, so we would always go up into the city during the day, and he wasn't that far from Nashville. And uh, but I never really thought about how much fun it probably would be to go back now that I can partake in some of the beverages because I remember like enjoying my time there, but the youth is wasted on the young. I think I need to go back. Yeah, I mean, I I went when I was younger too, and did the more like. I guess stereotypical. He hit up like the zoo, which I'm sorry, know. as an adult, a zoo would still be fun. Well, we went to, like I remember we toured, I guess the Grand Ole Opry and that sort of stuff, and I was like, okay, but you know, you definitely want to go and you can enjoy some beer and and whatnot. I don't know if I've seen, I don't think I've seen any shows there though. I mean, when we went most recently, it was still pretty COVIDy. I don't think there were even concerts happening at that time to go see anything. Um, but you know, it is music city. You think that there's no shortage of live music, but I still haven't caught a show there. I think, I think a lot of it has to do with the music, maybe not being necessarily geared towards you or I perhaps, but I I mean, I've always said, you know, you, you, it's very rare. You'll regret going to see live music, even if it's a genre that you maybe aren't accustomed to. One of the best shows I've ever seen was Casey and the sunshine band. So, yeah, I mean, I will. There you go. Case I, in point. I try and never say no, but it's also the hike to Nashville that. Yeah. Kinda... I mean, it's not that bad. Was it like, is it seven hours or seven, Something eight like hours maybe from here? It's not, it's doable. You could do that in a day, knock it out. Um, But yeah. And, and is it another thing I feel like I remember? I think it was our trip to Nashville. Don't they have like a replica of the Parthenon there? Yeah, it's called. Uh, I remember look, going to that when I was a kid. Athens of the South. Oh, is what Nash one of Nashville's names? Okay, well that sounds like appropriate. The other thing when we because when we were there, this was early last year, so it was January or February of 2021. And remember, there was that bombing like on Christmas in downtown Nashville. So we went there and just saw that there were still like the streets closed, like just blown out windows and stuff um that was pretty crazy do you remember that you don't remember that at all just now all like flooding back to me 
Yeah, it was like something like a guy was yeah. trying to take out the uh, AT and T building or something like anti five G, I think, or something Look, like that. Yeah, and but but I mean, it's been it's been a crazy few years, so yeah, that's it's true. hard to keep it track of, kind of every little thing that happens. But I think that the guy, I mean, obviously it's I, that's bad to do, but. I think he specifically did it on Christmas Day yeah. because people wouldn't be there working. Like, I, he didn't want to kill anybody or anything. Either way, he didn't do that. Bombing is still kind that. of a bombing. It's kind of a bomber. Uh, all right. Well, we're uh, we're digressing. Uh, how's the beer? Honest, I mean, and we we've talked about it before. Pilsners and lagers aren't necessarily my favorite. I feel like there's not a lot of places that really reinvent the wheel when it comes to the style, but I guess I'm going to eat my words today. This is actually really crisp, really refreshing. It doesn't, my biggest problem with like lagers and pilsners is you have a lot of that lingering aftertaste that kind of just makes it like, Oh man, this is heavy. I don't want to sit here and, and, and keep drinking this. Whereas with this, it's got a very like crisp feeling to it. And it's absolutely delicious. I think aging it in the uh, wine barrels absolutely makes a difference, but they've also got cool melon hops in it. And I think that's contributing to that like refreshing nature. I, this might be the best of the style I've ever had. So Emerald Cut gets a four seven five. All right, that's not too bad at all. Uh, for a sound engineer, <laughs> brewing beer. Uh, so my cousin did get back to me, and he said that we went to like two or three, and obviously I, I already said Yazoo, and then he said we definitely went to East Nashville Beer Works. So and and sure enough, I just googled it, and this is the one, the other one that I remembered. I just couldn't remember the name of it. So, uh, yeah, I do remember they had a pretty decent beer selection and some decent beers, and this one, uh, certainly falls in that direction as well. Nice light lacing, which you would expect for with a blonde ale, man, and you definitely get those notes of honey, not only on the on the palate but also on the nose, which is what you would hope and expect for. I rarely drink or seek out blonde ales uh, these days, but when you get one that's done well, um, it can be quite refreshing. A nice, easy drinker, no doubt about it. Uh, I'm going to give this one a four and a half on the untapped scale, which is how we like to rate our beers. Uh, feel free to friend us on there, Drez Drinks. Big Nate Danger. I don't know if I should, should I, I could give Rawls. I was going to tag him because he was kind enough to, uh, to Send us throw beer. these beers our way. So uh, I'll tag you on these ones, man. Thanks again for the beer. And actually, maybe I should pre-thank you because I think that this next round, is going to be more to our liking, I would imagine. Yeah, this one's there's really one that I'm really excited solid. to try, and then, of course, there's one that's I'm excited to try because, hey, well, you find out. <laughs> so here we go. I think I'm going to break format a little bit, given the circumstance. I was like, you know, remember I said it's not really our oh. genre, but Darius Rucker, I did check. We do have a Darius Rucker song in the library. That's going to be Wagon Wheels for sure, right? No. No. I, and I remember we have this in here because of Huck. And because this song got canceled like a year or two ago, but there's a version of Darius Rucker and Cheryl Crow doing Baby It's Cold Outside. Okay. <laughs> so, I guess. Uh, and it's appropriate the season. Time, so, yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll throw that on. We'll throw some, oh. some Rucker our way and uh, your way, and then we'll come back and we'll drink some more beer. It's Bruise Day Tuesday, Nashville edition on 105.3 The Bear. Stick around.